Here's how I add blush to my plushies. After threading the pink yarn, I'm going to go a stitch underneath the eye and go two rows over and pull my needle through. And I do this one more time just because I want that big blush look. Then I just tie it together and I make around two or three knots to make sure that it's secure. Once the ends are cut off, I just enter my hook into any stitch and just pull those ends through. And I'm sort of poking it to make it stick into the stuffing so that it doesn't come out. And I just use my hook to secure that. And that's how I add my blush. A lot of questions in my other video about my crochet grip and how I hold it like this instead of like this. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it because it lets you go a lot faster. So instead of holding your needle like this, you're gonna wanna hold it like this, kind of like a pencil. And I just use these back fingers to hold the crochet that you already have in place. On this hand, you're gonna loop around your pinky and then put all three of these fingers under the yarn. Then I use my thumb and my index finger to hold here. And then as you crochet, you can use your middle finger to adjust the tautness of the yarn and help loop it around your hook as you go. And so as you can see, this gives you a lot more control and also lets you go a lot faster since I've gotten questions about how I'm able to crochet so quickly. So uh, hopefully that helps and let me know if that doesn't make any sense. tutorial if you know how to crochet screenshot this if you don't know how to crochet or need some guidance this tutorial is the best start by slip stitching and chaining four insert that hook into the first loop yarn over and pull through then you want to chain three then you want to insert 10 double crochets into the center On the next row, you want to increase every stitch. So you're going to put two in each of these little stitches. So in the second row, you're going to increase every second stitch. So you can see how I made one here and then two into this loop. So in the next row, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to increase every third stitch now. So you can see how I did one here, one here, and then two in the third stitch. Then you're going to increase on the fourth, then the fifth stitch, and then the sixth stitch. Part two is up. Basically what we made in part one is like this top part of the head. And so next we're gonna do this brim area. So we're gonna do two rows only in the back loop. Two rows of double crochets in the back loop. After that, we're gonna do four rows of double crochets. And these are just regular cro double crochets that go in through the loop here. So it should look like, you know, a little Yankee no brim action. And if it's going right, you got this line going down across. The next row, we're gonna work those double crochets into the front loops only. So this front loop area. So next we're gonna build out the brim a little bit more. So since we ended with the increase on the sixth stitch, we're gonna increase this row on the seventh. Then the row after that will be the eighth, then the ninth, and then we're done. Part three is up. So now we're gonna start with the eyes. So you basically do the first row of the bucket hat again, but in the eye color and I'm using black. And that was a chain of four and then 10 double crochets. So now we're gonna repeat row three of the regular bucket hat, which was increase um, on every second stitch. So you should have something that looks like this. So now you wanna increase every third stitch, but we're using a single crochet this time. So you yarn over and pull through all three loops, just like that. So this is the front of the eye and you just wanna repeat this whole thing in green to get the back of the eye. And for the back part of the eye, I like to keep the tail a little bit long. That way I can use it to sew it around. Take your knitting needle and attach the to the back to the front. I just go through the loops. Carefully attach the eye just with the knitting needle. For the cheeks, make a loop and have eight single crochets around. The mouth I freehand with some yarn and that's
I'm going to show you how I switch colors. So when I need to switch the color, I'm just going to enter my hook like normal where I have the two loops. I'm gonna drop my working yarn and I'm gonna pick up the new color that I want. And from here, you just finish the stitch and you just crochet like normal. In the back, you would just tie the two yarn colors together. And if I were done with the blue, I would just cut off the blue yarn. Um, but since I still need it, I'm just gonna let it hang there. And so again, once I get to the last stitch, I'm just gonna enter my hook and then switch colors. Some of you have also asked how I transitioned the color so smoothly. Um, the line is just at the bottom of the B. That's where I place it. Crochet for beginners. I'm using a 2.75 millimeters hook and impeccable yarn, medium sized. Let's start with a magic ring. And then two chains. Into the ring, three triple crochet. double crochets one triple crochet and that is the half of the heart pause here and repeat pattern make two chains and then slip stitch into the ring tighten the ring by pulling the tail now you have a small for beginners single crochet in ch to then half double crochet hdc in next stitch same pause here then hdc dc hdc in the same stitch and that is half to CH2 and slip stitch to last chain. Now you have medium heart. Crochet basic stitches. One half double crochet. Two triple crochet. includes crochet basic stitches one slip stitch Magic ring. Hi guys, feel free to pause this tutorial whenever. So I'm going to start out with the magic ring and pull it through chaining two. And then I'm going to double crochet. 12 into the ring. Once you're done with that, fasten off and then start your new color. You're going to double crochet three into the same stitch, take out your loop, put it into your first loop, and then pull it through. Then you're going to chain three and repeat. Here's me just showing it again. You pull it through, and you should have 12 at the end of this. With your next color, you're going to do three double crochets, no chain in between, and then you're going to do three treble, chain two, three treble, and then continue all the way around. At the end, you fasten off, 
And there you have it. This daisy square. And you can screenshot right here, it's the whole. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how I connect my granny squares. So you're going to go into the corner, pull through your new yarn and slip stitch, and then do the same thing in your other square. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna go back and forth, slip stitching, and when you get to the end, it should look like this, and that's the back. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me just how I do it. Ready? <laughs> Your turn. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. Charlie Puth on keys.